Good morning and welcome. I'm Vince Brown, I'm the athletic director here at Orange Lutheran, and I wanna welcome everybody for, to a tremendous morning. This is our second group of signings today. We have three, um, three young men that are taking a big step in their journey, um, making the decision and signing with the schools that they plan on attending, both as students and athletes in the future. Um, we're so proud as an athletic department. I know our coaches are extremely proud, our administration, our, our faculty staff are so proud of the things that these young men have accomplished and we are excited to cover a little bit of that with you today. So I'd like to start by bringing up my associate AD, Karen Kapipi, and she will go ahead and start us in prayer. Welcome. If you will bow your heads with me, please. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this beautiful day and for this opportunity to come together to celebrate you and these amazingly talented young men. Lord, we pray that you would continue to bless these amazing student athletes in all of their efforts and in what you have planned for them. We also ask that you continue to keep them healthy and safe and centered on you and your will for them. In your name we pray. Amen. And if I could have your attention to the screens, we're gonna have a wonderful video this morning. continue in our celebration and I will turn it over to Coach Sherman. Thank you. Uh, it's an honor to be able to be here uh, with these three young men, with our coaches, uh, to see so many players out here. Uh, the landscape of college football recruiting has changed tremendously over the last few years. Uh, with the transfer portal, uh, it has really impacted college recruiting. It's changed the timelines. We're extremely proud of these three young men. Uh, we also know that many other young men are still waiting uh, for the revelation of what the doors that's God, that God's going to open. And we know uh, that's hard, waiting on that timeline. Uh, we are so proud of our senior class and so many exceptional young people. And we continue to pray for God's blessings on every single one of them. I was in Psalms and in Psalm 119, it's towards the end of David's life, and biblical scholars believe that he wrote this psalm really trying to give some wisdom to Solomon. And, and I think whether it's these three young men, uh, whether it's younger players that are in here, or whether it's other seniors that are still waiting uh, for, for doors to open for them, uh, and we know they will in the coming months, I think these words from the message uh, are good for us to hear. It says, verse one, you're blessed when you stay on course, walking steadily on the road revealed by God. You're blessed when you follow his directions, doing your best to find him. That's right, you don't go off on your own, you walk straight along the road that he set. You, God, prescribed the right way to live, now you expect us to live it. Oh, that my steps might be steady, keeping to the course you set. Then I'd never have any regrets in comparing my life with your counsel, I thank you for speaking straight from your heart. I learned the pattern of your righteous ways. I'm going to do what you tell me to do. Don't ever walk off and leave me. How can a young person live a clean life? By carefully reading the map of your word. I'm single-minded in pursuit of you. Don't let me miss the road signs that you have posted. I've banked your promises in the vault of my heart, so I won't send myself bankrupt. 
Be blessed, God, train me in your ways of wise living. Uh, and even for grown adults, those are important words as we stay the course uh, and we stay committed to the Father. Uh, I wanna thank our strength coaches who are in the room, Coach Reynolds, Coach Chase, Coach Nguyen. Thank you so much for all you do uh, to grow our players and their athleticism and their discipline. Uh, these young men, none of us would be where we're at without your presence, and I wanna thank you guys for your role in their lives. As, we hear, as we're here now to really honor these young men, I want to thank all of their parents who have spent so many hours helping them grow, helping drive them, helping support them, encouraging them when they needed encouragement, maybe humbling them uh, when they were flying high. Uh, you guys are exceptional. We thank you for your partnership. Uh, first, we want to share a little bit about Nate Hale. Nate was our starting left tackle all year. It's a great story. As a junior, uh, he didn't start every game. There was a lot of games where he played on junior varsity. Hey, as a junior in the Trinity League, and he embraced that. Sometimes we had to encourage him uh, as he was doing that, playing behind Zach Miller and Anthony Tina, some exceptional young men that are playing in college now. And, and as the offseason progressed, he just worked. He worked through the weight room, he worked on the field, really anchored our offensive line, being a starting left tackle for us. As I thought about a word to describe Nate, it was consistency. He was consistent in everything he did. He was consistent in his, his demeanor at practice. He was consistent watching film. He was consistent in becoming the best player that he could be. He's gonna have an incredible future. He'll be traveling uh, up to San Jose and uh, playing in the Mountain West at San Jose State. His position coach, Coach Ward, wanted to give him some final encouragements. Uh, first of all, Nate, we're very proud of your accomplishments here at Olu over the last couple of years. Um, from playing JV football, to the leopard print hair, to playing Division I football, who would have thought? Not me, at first, but then you saved the course. Uh, very excited to see your growth over the next couple of years. Just know that uh, we here at Orange Youth and are very, um, we're ready to help you throughout your journey and please lean on us as much as you can. Thanks, Nate. Congratulations, Nate. Signing his National Letter of Intent to San Jose State University, Nate Hale. Take a bow. Next young man, we have the opportunity um, to talk about is Trent Middleton. Trent was our long snapper, uh, both for punts and for PATs. I think one of the unique things about a long snapper is you don't always get to watch them perfect their craft. Uh, Coach Corp would tell you that the fewer times Trent was out there punt snapping, the better, right? The more times he was out there short snapping uh, for PATs and field goals, the better off we were. Hey, you talk about a young man that had to perform under pressure, right? He didn't get dozens and dozens of reps a game. He didn't get do-overs. Man, he had to run out there and do something that's really, really hard and to do it perfect every time. Trent is one of the best long snappers in the country. Went to multiple camps where he was rated so high, was always ready in practice. The word I think about with Trent is disciplined. Because you can't perfect your craft like he has done without being extremely disciplined to work on your own, to make sure you're ready to go on the sidelines, and to be ready to jump in when it is your time. It could be on a moment's notice, and he was always, always ready this year. Trent will be continuing his football career at UCLA, Coach Ward's alma mater, uh, just down the street, not just down the street, but uh, in Los Angeles. And we know he's going to have a, uh, an incredible future. And we're so thankful for all the things Trent has done here. His position coach, Kevin Leon, is going to share some final words for Trent. Thank you. So I just always encourage the players I work with to stay as close to home. So Trent, you did that good job. Your mom and dad are really excited uh, to be able to see your journey and see you play as much as possible. So... Um, my words of encouragement for Trent are as follows, is that first of all, 
really understand that the opportunity that you have in front of you today and take advantage of it. And there's always going to be someone looking to take your job. So work hard every year, continue to get better, but stay humble, stay grounded, and most importantly, have fun while you're there at UCLA. And I've been truly blessed to be your coach. Thanks, Trent. Congratulations, Trent. Uh, last player we have the opportunity to celebrate today is Jackson Wang. Jackson was one of uh, our star wide receivers this year. Uh, I remember Jackson uh, from his junior year, had a really, really good start to his junior year. Got hurt in our first league game. I remember uh, being at the hospital with him. Uh, he hurt his leg and came back just in time to help us in our playoff run at the very end of the season. He was working very hard in his rehab. Came in and just attacked his senior year. Uh, there were some games where teams would be doubling the lone receiver and he wouldn't have as much action. Some games where they would roll coverage to the strong side uh, and he just dominated. Specifically, our first round playoff game uh, against Edison had a monster game. I think had 160 yards receiving uh, and was just unstoppable. When I think about Jackson, I think about a competitive fire. And he would probably admit to you sometimes we had to tame that fire uh, and do it in the right way. But man, he's so competitive in everything he does. Hey, and it doesn't just want to do it for himself. He's competitive because he wants to help the team do their best. Because he wants to raise the level of the team. Uh, his recruiting uh, just this last weekend was at University of Texas El Paso. One of the things their coach told me is every second they spent with him sold them more and more on who he was, on the character that he had, on what he could do there. So on Sunday, he committed to UTEP, and today he signed uh, his NLI to go to University of Texas El Paso. Coach Corp was the offensive coordinator for both the Jacksons years and is going to share some words. Uh, first of all, congratulations, Jackson. Um, I think that uh, your journey okay, cannot be uh, completed without thanking Coach Frank Hernandez, who's not here today. Um, coach Frank was uh, Jackson's receiver coach for the three years that he was here, um, including last year, and he does a great job developing our young receivers. Um, Jackson was our most explosive receiver last year. He had uh, averaged 18 yards a catch. Um, in our first Division I playoff win since 2015, I went back and looked this morning, um, Jackson was our player of the game. He had over 160 yards catching um, and two touchdowns. And uh, I think that that just shows the testament of his, uh, first of all, his athleticism. But most importantly, Jackson put a smile selfishly on my face every day that I got to coach him. Um, always uh, came in with a smile on his face. He was, uh, had a great attitude and truly a pleasure to coach. So, um, Jackson, I just uh, wish you all the best and know that you always have a place here at Orange Lutheran. Thanks, bud. Uh, guys, thank you so much for allowing us the privilege of coaching you to watch you do what you love. Um, thank you for all you've given to the Lancer community. Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't give what I would call our most important coach, our most valuable coach, the opportunity uh, to share a few words. She is so important to our football experience here. Please join me in thanking uh, Miss Lowe. Hi guys, I swear every time he just really makes me seem a lot better than I am. I just love these kids, that's all. But Jackson, Trent, and Nate, it has been so incredible watching your journey over the last three and four years. You've all had different trials and tribulations and stories that you've been through, but how you fought through all of that and held God so at the center of it all and continued moving forward and trusted the process 
was amazing to walk alongside all of you with. And I am so excited to watch your next chapter and see how you guys perform and excel and become the incredible young men that God has planned for you, whatever that may be, whether it's in football and even after football in life, I know you guys are gonna change this world, each one of you differently and you have it in you. And younger guys, I want you to look up at these three and all of our seniors and see what they did this year and how hard they fought and how they held together as a team. And I think that's most important is to remember your brothers whether you're up here, you're, you know, a rising freshman to sophomore, like these guys are your brothers for life. And I hope you guys remember you are Lancers for life. And no matter how far you go, we're just a text, a FaceTime, a call away, because it will get tough. We know that, but that's where you guys rise and where you guys are going to grow. So thank you guys so much for coming here today. And we're going to go ahead and close in prayer.